Okay, so for today we're going to do a quick unboxing video and installation of some of the relatively new still Fender Shawbuckers. I got these from Gig Gear, which is in Harlow in Essex in the UK, and they were offering these on their website for £95 each, which I thought was really good, considering everywhere else was asking £130 for each pickup. I had to wait about a week for them to be delivered and that's the only downside otherwise the pickups came directly from the distributor via gig gear to me so let's pull these out okay so on the back of the box you've got your output meter these are rated at two vintage being one uh, modern hot pickup being five gives you an idea of the kind of output on the EQ. So we've got quite a lot in the treble, quite a lot in the bass. You've got DC resistance there, rated at 7.6K, and the inductance is again quite low at four. Pickups come as either a Shawbucker one or two, the two being slightly hotter output designed for the bridge. I um, really wanted to get two Shawbucker ones because I prefer, quite frankly, to have a balanced pickup set. So, spongy foam with a felt red top which is a nice touch pick up itself wiring diagram so we've got there two options the first two humbucker configuration which mine will be wired up as two humbuckers but I intend to put a three-way switch and a push-push coil split on the bridge tone pot and then you've got the HSS one over here very nice printed design it comes in full color which is fantastic a lot of the old Fender ones I used to receive in black and white which is fine if you know what you're doing but if you haven't um, soldered a guitar pick up in before it's often quite a challenge to figure out what's hot and what's ground and it comes with a one-year limited warranty printed out on the back so I'm excited to get these installed see what they sound like um, stay tuned and I'll wire everything up here in the video and in the near future I'll get some sound bites recorded okay so there we go both individually very nicely packaged two Fender Shawbuckers going in my USA Strat to 2014 American Standard okay so core split the switch is wired in the wrong way around at the moment I may or may not switch that back um, so that's actually the neck, that's the two coils, and that's the bridge. So let's start with the neck pickup. I like that, that sounds fantastic. Going to wind the tone off. the 0.22 caps so it doesn't get really muddy when you wind it all the way down it's still got enough brightness in there okay so let's play some rhythm on the neck pickup split switch so middle pick up split again hopefully this will sound relatively stratty yeah really nice up to the bridge so that's the bridge pickup because of the rewiring. Yeah, really. 
enjoying that. That's nice. Okay, so humbucker mode. Back to the neck pickup. <laughs> engaged. for a three-way switch is so that I can access the entire range of split pickup options in push of a button and that's because when I'm playing live I really really don't like the volume drop that occurs when you split humbuckers by doing it this way I can use the second channel uh, the boost channel or second master volume channel to equalize the volume on the single coils and that means that when I'm playing full humbucker mode I can switch the split and then raise the volume with that extra master channel. Avoiding that. Nice. So. Thank you. 
Right, so there we have it, wired in. Sounds really, really good. Just quick explanation. The two humbuckers are the only pickups that are working here. The center one is just in there for aesthetic purposes. It's a dummy pickup, essentially. And it's an EMG, an active pickup anyway, and you can't mix passive and active without some kind of really clever wiring scheme. Core split at the bridge. Uh, core split on the bridge tone pot. Job done.